One quality I think is important in a good friend is kindness. Now I want you to make a list of all the qualities that make a good friend. Go ahead and ask a parent or brother or sister about their ideas of what those qualities are. Now take a look at your list. Which of these qualities are more Im most important to you and why? Do you think you have these qualities? Does God have these qualities? One thing about good friends, we always know they like us. But with people who aren't good friends, it's easy to wonder if they like us or feel like maybe they don't like us at all. Is God different? We talk a lot about how God loves us, but does he like us? So that's the question we'll explore this week. I've heard that God loves me, but does he really like me? Throughout the Bible, God reinforces his love for us in his actions and words, which is awesome. But does he actually like us? Hmm. There are people in our lives who we love but don't necessarily like, maybe. Let's say you have a distant family member who's always crabby, who doesn't have anything in common with you, and always pinches your cheeks super hard when they see you. That may be a person you love, but maybe not someone you actually like a whole lot. It's probably not someone you'd choose to hang out with in your free time. A friend, on the other hand, is someone you like, someone you can't wait to hang out with or talk to. You love your friends, and you like them too. So what about God? Do you think God loves us like that distant relative you don't really know? Which relationship do you think better shows how God feels about us? Does he feel we're friends with him or like that distant, yucky relative? Let's talk, take a look at what the Bible tells us about this. As we read these verses, think about what kinds of qualities we see of God. Romans 5 verses 8 through 11 says, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we've been, been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. John 15 verses 12 through 16 says, This is my commandment, love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master does not confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends. Since I have told you everything the Father told me, you didn't choose me. I chose you. James 2 verse 23, And so it happened, just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. John 14 verses 2 through 3 say, There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. And the last verse is Matthew 10 verses 29 through 31. His says, What is the price of two sparrows? One copper coin? But not a single sparrow can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. After reading all these verses, take a minute and write down five qualities of God's friendship you see in those passages. Why do you think God tells us in the Bible that he's chosen us as his friends? How is being friends with God like choosing friends in our lives? How is it different? These passages are just a few where God demonstrates that he doesn't just love us, but God is your friend and his amazing qualities draw us closer to him. These passages show that God doesn't think of us like the dreaded distant relative he has to love. He thinks of us as friends he's chosen. He likes you. He makes it clear in his word that he values you, he cares about you, and he wants good things for you. He is your friend, so he likes you. We discovered today that God is your friend. We explored the Bible to find out whether God really likes you, and we found out that he chooses to call you his friend because he likes you. That's pretty awesome. All the qualities we like in our friends are the same kind of qualities God likes in us because God is our friend. Let's pray. 
Dear God, thank you for giving us the ability to choose our friends based on their qualities. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being so amazing in every way and for wanting to be friends with us because you actually like us. Thank you, God, for being you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Your mystery mission this week is to choose one of your good friends and tell that person why you like him or her. Explain all the cool things that make your friend such a good friend and say why you appreciate those things. Have a good week, friends.